What's up guys? Today is a beautiful day outside and it looks like it's going to be an even more beautiful night. So we're going to take that opportunity to take a look at some double stars through the telescope. So for those of you who don't know, most of the stars that we see in the sky aren't by themselves. Like the sun is by itself, the nearest star is like four light years away. But most stars are actually made of multiple stars orbiting around each other fairly closely. And you could see in this NASA website what that would look like if you were there. Uh, you could see how they kind of orbit around each other like that. And what we're going to try to do today through the telescope is zoom in on a star that looks like just one dot in the sky. And hopefully we could zoom in enough to break it apart into its two components. So with that being said, all we have to do is wait for the sun to set and we could get picture taking. See you then. All right, so we're outside now and I'm wearing a headlight right now. I don't need that phone camera light anymore, which is nice because, you know, I don't have to aim it. But yeah, I don't really need this light right now. Uh, it's kind of twilight, so I'm kind of doing it more so the phone can see, but I can see just fine. The reason that we're not waiting until actual nighttime to film is because there's some clouds in the distance and I'm worried that if I wait like two more hours for the twilight to go away, um, it's gonna be too late to actually see stars. So with that being said, I'm gonna aim the telescope now at the first double star in our list, which is called Albareo. All right, we got the telescope aimed in the right direction and I'll show you the part of the sky that I'm looking at right now because I know you can't really see anything through the phone camera. So this here is a picture that I took like a week ago and it's of the constellation Cygnus and I'll put lines over the stars to kind of show which stars make up that constellation and it kind of looks like a cross. So anyways, Albareo is a star at the foot of the cross. So it's bright enough for me to see right now even without the telescope, which obviously makes it a lot easier to uh, point the telescope at it. Anyways, uh, here it is through the eyepiece and you can't really see anything because it's a phone and the phones aren't really good to put on telescopes, but I can give you my impression of it. So I'll take a look right now. And yeah, it's very clear. Even through the low magnification eyepiece, I can already see the yellow and the blue star that make it up. So this one's definitely gonna be very pretty in the camera. So I will attach the camera to it right now. So you guys also get to see it. Quick update guys, I forgot to realize that my telescope was not focused at all. Like the focus when your eyes looking inside is completely different from the focus when the camera is. So what I had to do is aim the camera or the telescope at a really bright star called Deneb. And I'm using that to kind of like tweak the focus on it so we could look at the dimmer star Albareo. But I think it's pretty good right now. As you can see Deneb right there looks pretty much like a dot. So lots of mosquitoes out here, look at that. <laughs> but. Yeah, anyways, I think we're ready to start shooting Albareo. All right, the telescope is pointed in the right direction now, and even on the camera viewfinder, we can already see those two stars that make up Albareo right there. So, already looks very nice, and I'm gonna start taking photos of it, and at the end of the video, I'll put that final picture up. Okay, so I took like 15 pictures of Albareo, and I would keep going, but these clouds coming, and they're threatening to cover the next star that we're gonna be shooting, so I wanna move on to that while we still have the chance. So that star is called Mizar, and it's part of the Big Dipper. I'll put a picture of the Big Dipper that I took like a week ago up on the screen right now. And this one right here is Mizar. So if we zoom into it, we will actually see that it's made up of two different stars. And we're going to do that right now. All right, I repointed the telescope and right there is Mizar. The one on the left is Mizar. The one on the right is a completely different star called Alcor. And you can actually see it in the original Big Dipper picture I put on the screen. So I'll put that there again and the arrow right now is pointing to Alcor. But anyways, what we're looking at right now is Mizar, and you can see that it's made of two little stars right next to each other. And the clouds are covering basically the whole sky except for that tiny little section, so I'm gonna take pictures right now before the clouds cover it up. All right, guys, I only managed to get like five pictures of Mizar before it completely clouded over, and uh, yeah, it seems like there's a little opening over there, so I might be able to get one more double star in before I'll go back inside, but it was kind of weird. The entire sky clouded over except for like a little hole around where the Big Dipper was. So I was kind of snapping pictures as fast as I could before that hole kind of closed in. And I got like five pictures, so I'm happy with that. That's more than zero. So anyways, uh, I'll wait a bit longer and if it clears up a bit, I'll take a picture of our last double star called Epsilon Lyrae. All right, so I pointed the telescope in the general direction of the star, but it is still covered by clouds. So while we wait, I'll put up a picture of Cygnus that I took earlier and I'll show you where uh, Epsilon Lyrae is. So it's actually in a different constellation called Lyra and I'll put lines over where Lyra is in the sky and a little arrow pointing to Epsilon Lyrae. And this star 
is interesting because it's actually called the double double because each of the two stars that make up the double star are actually double stars themselves so it's like four stars orbiting around each other uh, I tried looking at it in this telescope and I could just barely resolve the, the four stars but I'm not sure if the camera will be able to because it's not really focused perfectly but we'll see what happens hopefully we get the at least the two uh, that's what I'm hoping for but if we could get all four that's just you know a nice bonus well that was a lot easier than I thought <laughs> right there are the two stars that make up Epsilon Lyrae and yes they are very far apart they still look like one dot to my eyes but through the telescope they're very clearly two different stars but through the viewfinder, I'm not too sure if we could see four stars, but I'll take pictures, see what happens before it clouds up again, because uh, there's some threatening clouds over there that look like they're going to cover up the whole sky again. If you guys have seen my previous videos, you might remember that I used something called a Batnov mask, which is a little cardboard cutout you could stick over the front of your telescope to focus it perfectly, but unfortunately I didn't have one of those with me tonight, so I might make a video in the future about making a new one, but... Anyways, because the telescope was a little bit out of focus, I don't think we're going to be able to see all four stars of Epsilon Lyrae. But anyways, we did manage to get like six pictures before it clouded up again. And yeah, we shot all three stars that I was planning on doing. So we're going to head back inside now and take a look at what they look like through the camera. All right, so I finished stacking all those photos. And of course, the first one is right here, Albureo. And you can see that that seemingly singular star in the sky is actually made of two different stars, a bright yellow one and a dim blue one right here. And I think that color contrast is really pretty. It makes for a very nice picture. And if you're wondering why there's no stars in the background here, that's just because uh, I kind of set my camera settings so it's like the exposure was low. And that way you could only see the brightest stars here. Uh, in this picture that I found online, uh, you could see all those background stars. But uh, I set the camera to have too low of an exposure, so... It didn't really capture those background ones, just uh, Alvarea right here. Anyways, uh, the next star that we captured was Mizar right over here. And again, you can very clearly see that it is two different stars. This one here and this one here. Uh, it doesn't make for as pretty of a picture as Alvarea because it's, you know, the two stars are the same color. They're both white. Uh, but still need to see that, you know, that one star in the Big Dipper is actually made of two different stars. And of course, then down here we have Alcor, which is, you know, by itself over here. And then the last picture we took was Epsilon Lyrae right over here. And yeah, we definitely can split that like one star into this star and this star, but we can't split each of these into their two components, unfortunately, because yeah, the telescope just wasn't focused enough. But in this picture that I found online, they are separated. So you can see that this right here is actually two stars. And so is this one. And while this orbits this and this orbits this, these two are actually orbiting around each other too. So it makes for a really complicated system, which is interesting. And yeah, that's it for this video. We got some, uh, some nice pictures today and I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, see you next time.